kids, come on in. It's time to get ready for bed. Okay, Mom, I'm coming. Dashing through the snow on a one-horse open sleigh. Over the fields we go, laughing all the way. The bells start to ring, making spirits bright. Oh, what fun it is to ride in sleighing song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. The Polar Express. Written by Chris Van Allsburg. <laughs> Read by Carol Douglas Welter. On Christmas Eve, many years ago, I lay quietly in my bed. I did not rustle the sheets. I breathed slowly and silently. I was listening for a sound. A sound a friend told me I'd never hear. The ringing bells of Santa's sleigh. There is no Santa, my friend had insisted, but I knew he was wrong. Late that night, I did hear sounds, though not of ringing bells. From outside came the sounds of hissing steam and squeaking metal. I looked through my window and saw a train standing perfectly still in front of my house. It was wrapped in an apron of steam. Snowflakes fell lightly around it. A conductor stood at the open door of one of the cars. He took a large pocket watch from his vest, then looked up at my window. I put on my robe and slippers. I tiptoed downstairs and out the door. All aboard, the conductor cried out. I ran up to him. Well, he said. Are you coming? Where? I asked. Why, to the North Pole, of course, was his answer. This is the Polar Express. I took his outstretched hand and he pulled me aboard. The train was filled with other children, all in their pajamas and nightgowns. We sang Christmas carols and ate candies of nougat scenters as white as snow. We drank hot cocoa as thick and rich as melted chocolate bars. Outside, the lights of towns and villages flickered in the distance as the Polar Express raised northward. Soon, there were no more lights to be seen. We traveled through cold, dark forests where lean wolves roamed and white-tailed rabbits hid from our train as it thundered through the quiet wilderness. We climbed mountains so high it seemed as if we would scrape the moon. But the Polar Express never slowed down. Faster and faster we ran along, rolling over peaks and through valleys like a car on a roller coaster. The mountains turned into hills, the hills to snow-covered plains. We crossed a barren desert of ice, the great polar ice cap. Lights appeared in the distance. They looked like the lights of a strange ocean liner sailing on a frozen sea. There, said the conductor, is the North Pole. The North Pole? It was a huge city standing alone at the top of the world, filled with factories where every Christmas toy was made. At first we saw no elves. They're gathering at the center of the city, the conductor told us. That is where Santa will give the first gift of Christmas. Who receives the first gift? We all asked. The conductor answered. He will choose one of you. Look! shouted one of the children. The elves! Outside! We saw hundreds of elves. 
As our train drew closer to the center of the North Pole, we slowed to a crawl. So crowded were the streets with Santa's helpers. When the Polar Express could go no further, we stopped and the conductor led us outside. We jumped through the crowd to the edge of a large open circle. In front of us stood Santa's sleigh. The reindeer were excited. They pranced and paced and ringing the silver bells that hung on their harnesses. It was a magical sound, like nothing I'd ever heard. Across the circle, the elves moved apart and Santa Claus appeared. The elves cheered wildly. He marched over to us and pointed to me and said, Let's have this fellow here. He jumped onto his sleigh. The conductor handed me up. I sat on Santa's knee and he asked, Now, what would you like for Christmas? I, I knew I could have any gift. I could imagine, but the thing I wanted most for Christmas was not inside Santa's great bag. What I wanted more than anything was one silver bell from Santa's sleigh. When I asked, he smiled. Then he gave me a hug and told an elf to cut a bell from a reindeer's harness. The elf tossed it up to Santa. He stood holding the bell high above him and called out, The first gift of Christmas. The clock struck midnight and the elves roared their approval. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. And Santa handed the bell to me and I put it in my bathrobe pocket. The conductor helped me down from the sleigh. Santa shouted out the reindeer names and cracked his whip. His team charged forward and climbed into the air. Santa circled once above us and then disappeared in the cold, dark polar night. As soon as we were back inside the Polar Express, other children asked to see the bell. I reached inside my pocket, but the only thing I felt was a hole. I had lost the silver bell from Santa Claus's sleigh. Let's hurry outside and look for it, one of the children said. But the train gave a sudden lurch and started moving, and we were on our way. It broke my heart to lose the bell. When the train reached my house, I sadly left the other children. I stood at my doorway and waved goodbye. The conductor said something from the moving train, but I couldn't hear him. What? I yelled out. He cupped his hands around his mouth. Merry Christmas! He shouted. The Polar Express let out a loud blast from its whistle and sped away. On Christmas morning, my little sister Sarah and I opened our presents. When it looked as if everything had been unwrapped, Sarah found one last small box behind the tree. It had my name on it. Inside was a silver bell. There was a note. Found this on the seat of my sleigh. Fix that hole in your pocket. Signed, Mr. C. I shook the bell. It made the most beautiful sound my sister and I had ever heard. But my mother said, Oh, that's too bad. Yes, said my father. It's broken. When I had shaken the bell, my parents had not heard a sound. At one time, most of my friends could hear the bell, but as years passed, it fell silent for all of them. Even Sarah found one Christmas that she could no longer hear its sweet sound. Though I've grown old, the bell still rings for me, as it does for all who truly believe the end. Ho, ho, ho! Feliz Navidad and Merry Christmas to all! And to all, a good night!